Where is my red mat? Right there. Did you hear red mat? What the fuck is that? It was me and my, uh, a friend of mine's like best friend. Noisy. That red mat right there? The red mat, yeah. yeah. Okay. We went down there by the lantern. There's two flights of steps. There's a fl I'll show you in a few minutes. Yeah. There's a flight down, then there's a platform. Oh, yeah, 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 down. yeah, I yeah, know that. We laid the mat at the bottom, put two sleeping bags, for, uh, a blanket down to lay on, two sleeping bags, we slept in the I put plastic bags over top of us and slept out the storm. How much water was up? Was water? None. We didn't get wet at all. We were dry, we were safe, nothing hit us. And it, I mean, you been, are you homeless now? Yes. How long have you been homeless for? Um, For about four months. So obviously this has been the hardest one, yeah. hardest day. Yeah. Any advice for your fellow East Village people who are homeless now without no electricity, no phone? Cause they go uptown. They have plenty of food. <laughs> <laughs> no, just hold it up. They said sometime between now and Sunday we should have electricity. How do you make it every night without electricity? I'm a survivor. I've been on the streets on and off since I was 12. Um, when you're out here, there's just ways to utilize. You just gotta know how to survive. So what do you do if you need electricity? If you need to do something? I don't need electricity. What you do don't I need, need electricity? I don't care about TV, I don't care about cooking, I don't care about all that. If I have to eat, I know there's places to go, I know people will give me if I need. We have people that come by and actually drop food off for us. Really? That feed us because they know we're homeless and we have nothing to do. We got so much food dropped off last night, it wasn't even funny. We couldn't even eat it all, we were giving it out to others. Really? So the response was, was been really good right Pretty now? Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Not perfect, but decent enough and respectful enough. I mean, last night was Halloween, we had people dropping off. I had a, uh, a one family drop off a whole bag of rolls. Both. Rolls. Rolls. Just a bag full of rolls. <laughs> we shared the wealth and gave them all out. Um, bread, Chinese food. Um, so really, anybody who's without power and stuff in these village should be all right. coming from uptown. Yeah. The guy said, here, this is Chinese food. People coming from uptown. The guy came last night and said, this is Chinese food from uptown. And actually gave us uptown food from uptown last night. Okay. Jamar, give me a cigarette. I got one for you. Oh, I thought I did. Okay. Thank you then. Cool. What's your name? Melissa. Nice to meet you. Cool. Don't What's worry. What's it been like for your eyes so far? A different experience. Yeah, I take it granted. You live downtown as well? Yeah. So, well, it's, it's, I mean, it's not something I'm used to. I know when I get my power back, I'm not going to take it for granted like I did before. When did it hit you? Monday. When did it hit you Monday? Like, Monday night, right? 8, 8.30. You had to evacuate from your place? No, I stayed. That's why I'm here now. Oh, okay. Why'd you stay? You just figured? I figured it wasn't going to be by like Irene. Yeah. I'd say, um, I, I, I can say, I can honestly say that it's good for us because we, we can experience how other people probably live. Yeah, this it's stuff that you normally see on TV, you never yeah. think it would happen in New York. Yeah. So, hey, it's so different. And, and then her, she was a step yeah. behind, Aww. and like, I, I felt fine. You guys want to share any stories? Wow. I'm just, I share stories about the neighborhood, what's going on. How would you talk about people running yeah. on cell cars? Oh, because there's no stoplights. No, this is when there was. <laughs> <laughs> How, did, how are you guys coping with everything? Is it, Great. Did you get evacuated as well, or? No. Did you get evacuated, or? No. Just no electricity? No, this is on C, so we were fine. But it took two hours to get the bathtub this month. Yeah. Boil the water. Boiling water, boiling water. How are you boiling water? No electricity. Oh, get gas. It's gas. The water around the city. Ooh. Oh, Don't use the water. I bought water. I'm going to buy some more down too. I heard that on the radio. Said water is fine. We're getting a lot of chlorine. Yeah. I have water. I have water filters. So. Oh, those still work. A little bit. I try to. Yeah. I had to take mine off. This has got sand. It's a thing in the east village. That's all. Yeah. I hope we have power Saturday. How long have you been in New York for? Living here. Yeah. 65 years. So you've never seen anything like this? You have? Blackouts. I can hear 65. We have a huge blackout. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 2003. So you guys are all charging your phones here. So, like, when you when they charge, do you have to go uptown to use them or they, they work right here? Well, mine works by the tile place. You just uh, lift okay. it up and, you know, you can get a signal. So how did you all 
this became like, how'd you all discover this? He's walking around? Did you see? Yeah, well, we kind of live here. Kind of. You from saw the, the you from the neighborhood. And this is our hardware store. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. That's nice of him. They're across the street, they're doing it. The doing store. the same thing. Any stories you want to share? <laughs> so what are you reading the past time with? Yeah. Any stories you want to share anybody? I'm going to share stories from the neighborhood. So they're, uh, you know, the key food on 4th and A is getting rid of all the food that's going bad. They have a dumpster outside the supermarket as they're dumping stuff outside of the supermarket. People are stealing from the food. People are there taking food that's bad. They're going to be eating it and getting sick. Oh my God, are you serious? I'm serious. You walk over to A and you'll see some sad. You don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm going to tell them the cheese goes bad, the meats go bad. Yeah. People are out there taking... Well, the meats and cheese go bad after what, like one hour of no refrigeration or after two hours of no refrigeration? Uh, yeah. We let them, I mean, it's hard to say, you know. Yeah. Because refrigeration, right, the temperature slowly went up. It didn't just dramatically change. Yeah. Cold to room temperature. So it's hard to say how long until it goes bad. But, you know, we're on two and a half days now. Dude. Stuff goes bad. How tough is it for your dog? I was just I mean, just curious. Where are you got, did you get evacuated, dislocated? Or? No, no. We just don't have power. We don't have heat. But uh, we, don't have, so we don't have hot water. But it's, the dog's okay. She just doesn't like going out at night. She gets scared because it's so dark. Yeah. What is it like down here to do at night? What? What is it like at nighttime? I mean, you've been, how long have you lived down here? I've lived down here for four and a half years. Yeah, so what is it like for you walking around at night, dude? <laughs> at night down here, it's just, it's kind of, you know, you just don't, it's a lot less trust. There's a lot less, people are a little bit suspect of each other. And it gets kind of scared because you can't see anybody. You don't see their faces as you're walking around. Literally. Yeah. All you see is lights. So you see a lot of cops driving around with their lights flashing. No, no sirens, just lights flashing. So you do feel their presence. Yeah. You don't feel like there's, it feels kind of, just feels kind of like, um, you don't feel as comfortable as you normally do. And there's a, because of that, there's a fear, inherent fear to just being in the neighborhood at night. So we're not out as much as we don't, we don't Yeah, yeah, and there's no alarms or anything. There's no alarms. So everybody's, like me and my family, we have a baby girl. Yeah, I have a baby girl, yeah, yeah. We're home. We stay home. We take her down. She doesn't like to go out at night either. She gonna take a quick pee back upstairs. <laughs> okay. She doesn't want to stay out. So we're basically staying home, lighting candles, hunkering down. Thank you, dude. Well, Sorry. So you're sharing. What's been the experience like for you and your community? Been, been tough, man. I mean, what's one of the main, the basic items everyone's picking up? Candles, batteries, some flashlights that we could get. Okay, go ahead. That's it. What made you decide to put the outlets outside to help people? What made you just... We're here, man. We're here over 100 years old. Oh, I didn't know that. What's the, what's the story behind the store? There's three families been through. What's the family's name? This family's safety. Okay. It was Jack's before. It was another family before. So you've been here over 100 years? This story. This story's been over 100 years. 110 years. Wicked, man. Have you, has your family ever experienced or seen anything like this before? We had the blackout. The blackout. Was there a similar experience? Go ahead. This is worse. Why would you say this is worse? Just... Three days now. <laughs> what is it like at nighttime around here? It's okay. It's safe. <laughs> Surprisingly? Because no alarms, right? No, so far it's okay. okay. Any advice for people? Uh, in, when people are wondering how the community is doing? Because you can't make phone calls, can you? We have a landline. Land, oh, so if landlines work, but cell phones don't. So this would be a good time if, if, you're, if you actually had a landline, you're smart. We have one landline. Okay. Thanks. And what's the name of the store? Safety. Safety. Thanks a lot, Safety. Thank you very much. What's the name of the business? Sapporo East. Yeah, I know Sapporo East, dude. You guys are giving out free curry. Yes. What's, why, why, what's going on? Appreciation. Appreciation. <laughs> What's been the effect for you guys down here? I mean, no electricity. It's like freezer and refrigerator is down. So, I mean, we're, we're able to keep everything in the freezer, but everything in the refrigerator has to go. Okay. But yeah, well, other than that, I mean, just not being able to run the restaurant for five days. Uh, I hear that we're not going to have electricity until Saturday. 
Whoa. That's what I mean, like, like earlier as I heard that Saturday electricity is coming back, but the problem with that is we're not gonna have any distribution of food before, so we can't get any new new stuff for the weekend, so. So, what's this doing for your business? Because you still have to you have vendors to pay, rent to pay. Yeah, I mean, it's hard, so I mean, we're, we, it's really hard on us, we're kind of worried about that, but. Because employees can't get paid if they don't make your tips, right? Yeah, but so, I mean, today, like, Government, uh, what do they call it? Like insurance. Uh, that may come to help small businesses. Yeah, in the neighborhood, like you know, after after you get money from the insurance, if they if it's still if there's a lot of money that you lost, the government might help you. Okay. I don't know how much or like, the details on that, but if that's true, it'll be nice. But we're doing this more like an appreciation thing. Appreciate. Anyway. Yeah, I love We've that. We've been dude. around for 30 years. You've been down the neighborhood for 30 years. We wouldn't have been able to do it for 30 years. So how would you describe it, man? I mean, how would you describe it? I mean, for those who don't know, what has it been like for you these last two, two three days? I mean, it's... it's, it's for you guys, right? in general. It's crazy. I mean, like, we, we worry. Uh, we, we worry every day, like, if we could do business even after the storm go. I mean, even after electricity comes back, but... Why? Because it's been tough already? Yeah, it, it's been tough already, and on top of that, this, just having to pay rent, losing a week's worth of sales, just, you know, yeah. that's, that's too much money for us, so, I mean, I hope, I hope, you know, things will go back, and when like, electricity comes back, everybody will be, will be able to continue their yeah. business in the yeah. neighborhood, we're worried about how many businesses are, will be lost, but, you know, it's, you guys are our best. What's it like at night, man? At night, I mean, we, we do security a while back, so we have electricity, but I was here last night doing the same thing, it's dead, you know, no electricity, it's pitch black, Yeah. and then people, people probably are, are scared, worried, as much as we are, so. And what's your name? My name is Sho. What's and this name? is Sephora, Laron. Nice to meet you. So this is my small story, dude. So yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up, guys? I, I was walking. I'm glad to bump into you. Uh, a lot of people were talking about that because they're a lot of worried about the crime, no alarms. I don't know any advice, anything you guys want to tell people down in East Village? Anywhere? We're just walking around the area, making sure that everybody's safe. But if regular people, they should walk in a pairs of twos or threes, have a flashlight, and if you see that somebody's following you, have the cell phone out, put it on speaker so they can hear that you're calling 911. But never walk alone. It's not a good idea. Never walk alone. In all your years, man, have you guys seen anything like this? I'm just curious. A long time ago. A long time ago. What have you been hearing so far from people well, you talk to right Everything's here? quiet so far. But once the light goes out, that's when uh, things change completely. And so your recommendation is stay indoors? That mean no, no. If you have to go out, don't go out alone. Maybe one or two people, maybe three. Have a flashlight, have your cell phone with you. If you see that somebody's following you, call 911, put it on speaker, let the person hear that you're calling the cops on them. And for those who know, what's, what's, the, what's the role of uh, the guardian angels in New York for those? You know? Just patrolling the streets, subways, making sure that everybody's safe. We see somebody committing a crime, we, we hold them until the police come. Public safety. Oh, and how long you guys been around for? Since 1979. 1979, man. My God, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.